Navigating through Microsoft Teams folder structure can be challenging sometimes, especially if you work in a large organization and belong to many teams. If you often work with files that belong to a specific Teams channel, you can create a cloud folder in your PC's File Explorer that will sync the files. This basically works the same way as your OneDrive cloud folder. For those of you who are new here, my name is Andy Park and I make videos about productivity. In this video, I'll show you how you can sync your Teams file library to your PC. So here's a sample Teams that I have set up for Project A. There are two channels. One is the default general channel, and the other is the one I set up for Workstream 1. Let's say for the next couple of months, I'll be actively working as part of Workstream 1, and I'll be frequently working with files saved in this channel. And of course, as a contributor to the project, I'll be creating and saving files here as well. One way we can improve our workflow here is to simply pin this channel so that it always shows up on top and we have quick access. Of course, I'm only showing one team site here, but if there was a long list, pinning the channel would make it easy to get to it. But for me, a better option if you want to work with these files without going into Teams is to synchronize this channel's file library with our computer. This way, we can work with the files just as we would work with any other files on our computer. I've already set up a synchronized folder for the general channel of Project A team site, which you can see here. We can add new files to this folder, rename, delete, make edits to an existing file, and they'll sync with the Teams channel. To show you an example, let's copy this file over from my Documents folder and rename this file, adding version 2 at the end. Let's now go to our Teams channel and refresh the document library. And there you go. Conversely, when your team members add new files or make changes to existing files, it'll sync with the folder in our PC. Let's rename this file here, adding version 3 at the end. Go back to the File Explorer and hit F5 to refresh, and we see that the file name has been updated. So we can bypass teams altogether when we need quick access to these files. And one feature I find most useful is that now I can save files directly into the cloud folder to be synced with Teams. No more saving files to a local folder than manually uploading a copy to the Teams channel. And yes, I know that in some cases we can actually save the documents directly to a Teams channel, but this is limited to select Microsoft 365 applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And we're further limited to Teams SharePoint sites that we frequently use or the ones we follow. And for other applications like this photo app, we don't have the option to save to a SharePoint site at all. So the ability to save any file to this cloud folder that will automatically sync to the Teams channel can really help with the workflow. So how do we set this up? It's super simple. Navigate to the file tab of the Teams channel you want to sync and simply hit this sync button. An important prerequisite here is that you must have OneDrive installed on your computer, as the connection between our PC and the Team SharePoint site is actually facilitated by OneDrive. My OneDrive account is already set up and linked, but if you're doing this for the first time, you may get prompted for your username and password to sign into your account. Once you do that, open up your File Explorer you should see the new folder listed under your organization SharePoint account. All your files in the Teams channel should appear here. Depending on our setting, the files in the Teams channel will either fully download to our local computer or we'll just see a shortcut link to it. I can see in this status column which files have been fully downloaded and synced versus in the cloud. Since all my files are still in the cloud, I'm going to open one up. This RACI file is actually blank, so I'm going to add some generic filler text here. By the way, here's a little trick. If you want to use a generic filler text, you can use this formula. Now that we opened and saved the stock to our computer, the status changed from cloud to checkmark. If you want to change whether we want to sync and download all cloud files or just what we need on demand, we can right click on the OneDrive icon in our system tray Go to Settings, then check or uncheck this box for File On Demand. I have my settings set to On Demand to save disk space on my computer. 
And while we're here, let me show you how we can make changes to the sync folder. Go to the account tab. We can see all the team's location that are syncing. The one on top is our OneDrive. All team's channels that are syncing will be listed below. If we no longer want to sync to a team's channel, we can select Stop Sync. Or if we want to specify which folder within the team's channel we want to make available, we can select Choose Folders, then check the folders you want to see. Well, that's it. That's how we can sync Teams folders to our computer. I highly recommend you set this up for channels that you actively work in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy contents like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.